Hi, I'm Nikki and I'm a sexual health nurse. And I'm Alana and I'm a relationships and sexual health educator. In this video we're going to be answering some of your top questions about having sex for the first time. Alright, first question is, what is a virgin? Hmm, now that's a good one because what is a virgin? Um, so a virgin could be defined as somebody who hasn't had sex before, but then the question comes up, what is sex? Mm. So a lot of people describe sex as penis in vagina or penis in anus sex, um, but there could be a lot more to sex such as um, masturbation and oral sex. Um, the definition of a virgin as well actually leaves out a lot of people. People mm. who are gay, and um, bisexual, pansexual, um, may not have had penis in vagina sex, um, but they also may not consider themselves a virgin. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the best thing is to not think of the label of being a virgin and just to concentrate more on whether you're happy with the sexual activities that you're doing mm. um, or even happy with the decision not to have any sexual activities. When do most people start having sex? So again, this is one that's, um, it, it, it's quite a broad answer. Everyone always thinks that everybody else is having sex when the reality is they're actually not. Um, we know that um, less than half of the year 10, 12 students um, have actually had sex. Um, but that's not to say that people haven't had any kind of sexual activity. So again, it's a, it's a bit broad. Um, but the most important thing is people should only start having sex when they want to have sex. Um, so don't feel pressured into having sex or any kind of sexual activity that you don't want to have. Um, just focus on when you're ready and when you want to have sex. Nice. So, following on from that, when mm -hmm. will I know if I'm ready to have sex? It's probably quite a lot of factors to consider, uh, but I guess the first message there is making sure that you don't feel any pressure to have sex. Quite often there is pressure around it and this idea that I've just got to do it, I've just got to get it out of the way. Um, but it is really important that you're having conversations with people that you trust and people that you care about um, so that you know how you're feeling about whether you're ready to have sex um, and whether there's some underlying stuff. If there's underlying pressure or coercion or something like that, you want to make sure that you've had the opportunity to talk that through with someone that you trust. Uh, if you are planning on having sex with a specific person, you've got to that point. Um, it is really important to have a conversation with them so that you're really clear of what you're both expecting um, and that you're already kind of consenting to some of the activities and what that might actually look like. Uh, the key message really is that only you have the right to decide um, and no one else should try to convince you otherwise. So Absolutely. if there is any pressure or coercion or tricks or bribes, um, that's not what we're, not what we're after. Um, but if you're asking yourself, like, am I ready for this? Your answer should be, I feel comfortable, I don't feel any pressure, um, and I'm doing this for me, and I'm not doing this because of what other people think. The next one is, I feel comfortable to have sex, um, what's then the next step? Whoa, okay, here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, everyone's experience of sex for the first time is going to be really, really different, um, but the key is to really be prepared in your own self. So it includes things like those prior conversations, um, making sure that you do have consent, uh, but also thinking about protection against infections um, and also contraception options if there is a risk of pregnancy. So yeah, before you have sex, you need consent. Uh, and so consent means to give or gain permission um, and consent must occur before any sexual activity and it must continue throughout. It can be withdrawn at any time um, and really the responsibility is on the person to gain consent. So if there's ever any kind of unsurety or un uh, lack of clarity, it is really important that the person is clear on that they have got consent before they do any sexual activity. Um, another factor as well when we're thinking about sex for the first time and the feelings and the anxiety and the pressures that might be surrounding that, even though you might think you feel comfortable and ready, um, you might still have to consider things like the influence of drugs and alcohol. Um, being under the influence can really alter your ability to make decisions um, and it can also alter other people's abilities to make decisions because it can lower your inhibitions. So it can make you... It can also affect your ability during sex as well, can't it? It can, it can actually limit erections and, and yeah, so... Absolutely. So it can actually affect the enjoyment of the sexual activity as well. So something worth considering. For sure. Another thing that can affect sex is if somebody's worried about getting sexually transmitted infections or STIs or in fact um, getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess safe sex, um, we encourage everyone to use um, condoms or dental dams mm -hmm. um, and that will protect what 
covers um, against STIs, um, but it also gives you a chance of protecting yourself against pregnancy. Um, that said, if you really don't want to be pregnant, there are better things to protect you against an unintended pregnancy than condoms. So there are some contraceptives that are a lot more reliable, um, and in fact you don't have to think about every time you have sex. So things like the contraceptive pill or the contraceptive implant, which is the little bar that goes in your arm, and there's also the contraceptive injection that you have every three months. Um, there's also some longer lasting ones, so there's the intrauterine device, mm -hmm. um, some of which contain a small amount of hormone and some don't contain any hormones. So there's quite a choice out there if you actually you know, are having regular sex and you don't want to be pregnant and there's things that you can do to protect yourself. So yeah, it kind of ties into that whole idea of preparation is key. So preparation in terms of those conversations that you're having with your partner, but also preparations that you can take yourself to make sure that you have everything covered. All right. And don't forget the lube. What should I expect when having sex? Weighty question. <laughs> for the first time, well, <laughs> for the first time, everyone's experience is going to be different. Um, it's it's as varied as we all are, and some people will have a good experience for the first time. Some, perhaps, not so much. Mm. What we do know is, though, it's generally not going to be like it is in the movies. It might be embarrassing, but the important thing is to to talk to your partner and make sure they know what you like, what you don't like, and tell somebody if if something's going on that you don't like. And they're not a mind reader; they're not going to know. Um, so yeah, just keep telling people what you like and, and keep trying it. But remember that sex shouldn't be painful, sex should be pleasurable and sex should be fun. Um, but sometimes um, things can happen that can cause um, painful sex. Mm. So if you're finding that, that sex is painful, it's really important to go and speak to your GP or come and see a sexual health clinic like this because there will be something that can be done about it. And don't be embarrassed about it, that's the kind of thing that sexual we'll health nurses for. and GPs are all over all the time. Okay. So, in summary, having sex for the first time can be quite, you can have a lot of anxiety, you can be quite worried about it. Um, it's quite a taboo kind of thing. There's not a lot of us talking about it and being really honest and real about it. Um, but that's not to say that you can't find those really good trusted people in your life to have that conversation with. So, have the conversation with people around you, have the conversation with the partner that you're going to have sex with. Um, and remember, sex should be fun. Sex should be fun. Sex should be fun. It sex should be, should be fun. enjoyable, and sex should be full of consent. Absolutely. And there's lots of ways you can make it safer and more pleasurable, uh, and that you uphold that respect for yourself and respect for the other person.